hi lovelies welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a fitted skirt with an invisible back slit So after you fold your fabric in two, the next will be to place your skirt length. So the skirt length I'm using here is 21 plus 2 inches sewing so allowance, 21 plus 2, which is 23. After that, I went on to place my waist measurement on top of the skirt. So my waist measurement divided by 4 is 8. I placed it and I also added allowance for it. I added 2 inch allowance plus one inch for that which is three inches allowance on the waist then i went down to my hip point and placed my hip measurement divided by four then added two inches allowance for it so the next thing to do is to connect the lines from the hip to the waist then from the end of the skirt which is that 23 inches to the hip So now it's time to cut it out. So with a pair of scissors, just cut it out carefully. So for the back side of this skirt, place the front on it because we need to trace it up. So for the length of my slit, I use 3 inches long slit. So you can decide to go upper or you go lower. Everything is your choice. Then 3 inches long plus 2 inches sewing allowance, which is 5 inches. So I went on to mark it there. Remember the 2 inches I added is the same sewing allowance I added on the front of the skirt. So the next thing I did was to add my zipper allowance of 1.5 inch. That is 1.5 inches. So after connecting this with your chalk, you see that it's having a L shape. If yours is not having a L shape, then you know you didn't do it correctly. So now the next will be to cut it out with my scissors. So for the lining of this skirt, I placed the lining, then I measured the original length of this skirt, which is 21. I folded in that allowance, then measured the original length, which is 21. Then I brought down my tape on the hem of the allowance, then measured what I got. I got 19 one quarter there. So that 19 one quarter will be the length of the lining, because the allowance of that skirt added will be entering inside. So I marked 19 one quarter on it. Then I placed my skirt this way. So once you've done this, the next two will be for you to cut it. Then for the back of the skirt, the same way we place that 19 one quarter, also place it for the line on the back, then trace it and cut out that same L shape we did. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you. So after cutting this out, the next will be to measure your skirt band. And for the skirt band, be using your waist measurement, that is your round waist. My round waist is 32, so I marked 32 plus 1.5 inch for zipper allowance, then 4 inches wide. Don't forget to add the zipper allowance to the waist band. Then I cut it out. This is one side of the back, so I'll be showing you how I did that. Because I wasn't able to video this while I was sewing it. 
lay the fabric on the right side then place the lining on top of it so i'm using my pin to hold it so you'll be pinning it end to end like the two ends of this fabric you pin them together the lining and the main fabric so after you've done that you draw this up like this so this line which i pinned you'll be stitching on them So I've stitched those lines I pinned and I also ironed the lining because they restored power immediately after I was done. So after that I turned it over to the right side. So this is how it's the back of the skirt is looking. So you'll be doing the same on the front of the skirt too. The next will be to stitch this upper part and then add our darts. So I've added my dart and I've stitched, look at how neat everything is looking. So I went on to measure to check if I have that same slit length I added and it turned out to be the same. So the next will be to place the skirts, the back of the skirts on each other and stitch them together. So I'm done with that. I stitch from the zipper allowance. I stitch it down to the slit. As you can see this slit is an invisible slit you can't even see it you won't even know that there is a slit there so now we've reached the closing aspect of the skirt and for you to close it accurately without having any mistake replacing the back of this skirt on the front place the back of the skirt on the front then you use your pin to hold its middle to middle start from the zipper allowance that we notched and the center of the front that we also notched. So pin everything middle to middle because that is where we'll be taking your measurements from. So now it's time for us to place our measurements for the closing. So I started off by marking my hip points first. My hip point is 8. That is where I'll be placing my hip measurement. So I went up to my waist area. From the middle that we pinned, you mark your waist measurement. My waist measurement is 8. That is my waist measurement divided by 4 is 8. I marked it there. Then I went down to my hip measurement. My hip measurement divided by 4 is 10 and a half. I also marked it there. After marking it, you'll be joining it with your straight line. Connect the lines. You might get a straight line, you might get a curve. Everything depends on the body measurement you're using. So I didn't want mine to be a very pencil skirt, so I just made a slight curve on it. After this, I'll be taking it to my sewing machine to stitch it. So I'm done with the stitches and the next thing I'll be to add the skirt band. And this is how you add the skirt band. We're adding the skirt band from the inside of the skirt. So you open up your skirt and you'll be opening up this zipper allowance that we close. Then from the inside of the skirt, place the waistband in the center of the skirt. So you'll be stitching it around the skirt's waist. Then on top of the skirt, you'll be top stitching on it this way. So after adding the band, I also added my short skirt zip to the skirt. And now we successfully made a fitted skirt with an invisible back slit. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.